Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Environmental Protection Agency head Scott Pruitt's costly visit to Morocco last year was partly planned by a lobbyist friend, according to news reports. The disclosure raises fresh questions about the purpose of Pruitt's controversial visit, which reportedly cost taxpayers more than $100,000. Some also question whether the lobbyist, reportedly hired soon after the trip by the Moroccan government to promote the country's cultural and economic interests, benefited financially from his relationship to the embattled EPA chief. The New York Times and The Washington Post separately reported that Richard Smotkin, a former Comcast lobbyist who has known Pruitt for many years, helped to plan the EPA administrator's trip to Morocco in December. Both papers published articles online Tuesday night and in Wednesday's print editions. The EPA confirmed that Smotkin facilitated an initial meeting in October between Pruitt and Morocco's ambassador to the US, reported The Post. It was at that meeting that the ambassador, Lala Jumala, invited Pruitt to visit Morocco. Smotkin reportedly then helped organize several meetings for Pruitt in the country, including one with OCP Group, a state-owned phosphate mining company. Smotkin was a near-constant presence during Pruitt's trip, the Post reported, serving as an informal liaison at both official and social events. The EPA did not deny that Smotkin had attended some of Pruitt's meetings in Morocco, but downplayed the role that the lobbyist played in orchestrating the visit. EPA's Office of International and Tribal Affairs organized and led the effort around Administrator Pruitt's official meetings with the Moroccan government, EPA spokesman Jahan Wilcox said in a statement Tuesday, according to The Times. Additionally, Mr. Smotkin did not attend or participate in any official meetings with the Moroccan government. Still, concerns have been raised about Smotkin's involvement in the trip, with the two reports pointing out how unusual it is for a person outside government to arrange travel plans for a cabinet official.